Hey, hey, this is Chris Sev from Better Dev, and today I thought we would make another logo in Tailwind. So previously, we made the Slack logo with Tailwind, a lot of fun in that video. Please check it out if you wanna see how we made that. But next up, I thought I was looking around at logos and I saw the Beats logo. And I thought, this is pretty simple. We can do it in Tailwind. So here it is in Tailwind. It's a little bit off because of the width of the kind of white area for the B, but you can mess around with it. And I'll talk about how we can actually fix this problem once we start building out our version. Here is a brand new code pen. I'm gonna open up the CSS settings and I already have the Tailwind CSS file right here. So if you want, just type in Tailwind and you can click that and it will load it for you and you'll have that there. I'll hit save and close. And to start us off, as we do with most of our Tailwind demos, we're gonna center everything and set the height of our demo to the full height of our viewport. So I'm gonna say min height is screen. Now let's center everything, flex items center, justify center. And that's good there. So now we're gonna say logo goes here and we're gonna have a white circle and a white line. And the logo is gonna be the red logo. So that's really all it's gonna take is three separate divs to do this. We're gonna start out with our div right here. Close that right there. And actually, let's just go ahead and write out the other two divs. Dov. <laughs> div right there. I'll hit save so we can auto format that. And let's get some spacing. All right, to start us off, I'm gonna go with a background of red because that's kind of the focal point of this tutorial. Background red at 600. I'm gonna go for rounded is full. And now we need to give it a height and a width so that we can actually see this div. It won't really show because there's no content inside of it. So we say height is 32, width is 32. Perfect. Let's start building out this white circle, class, background white. And let's go for height 16, about half the size, width 16. And let's go for rounded is full. There we go. But I don't really wanna do a background of white. That's actually a cool logo on its own. That looks like a logo, I can't pinpoint it. I don't know what that is, but it looks familiar. So we're not gonna do the background is white this time. We're gonna say the border is white. And now we need to give the border a width. So we're gonna say border is eight. Now we need to get this into the middle of this red circle. So on the red circle itself, I'm gonna say flex items center and justify center. And now we have a circle right there. And if you took this technique a little bit further, you could probably make the target logo. But next, let's take a look at this white line. I'm gonna give the white line a class and we're gonna say height is 32 and width is two and background is white. And let's see what that looks like. So there it is on the side of this white circle. And the reason it's sitting on side by side is because we did flex on the parent, which is the red circle, and it's gonna sit all the way over there. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. You could probably move this over to before the white circle and then transform it over a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different approach. I'm gonna take this white line and I'm gonna put it inside of the white circle. Now by putting it, oh, there's Pinterest. <laughs> By putting it inside of the white circle, we can say you are relative, the parent, and then the child, the white line, is gonna be absolute. And by doing that, it won't change anything, but we can position this white line based on the white circle. So to do this, I'm gonna say left is zero and bottom is zero. That's kind of the baseline positioning that we have. So there we are, we're a little bit closer because it went to the left and it went to the bottom of this right there. Next up, I'm gonna say transform. We're gonna say translate X at full. So we're gonna say just move over X full, but it went the wrong way. So we need to put the minus right here. Now the last part to this is to translate Y and give this a little bit of a height minus translate Y at maybe six. Let's try that. And there we go. We have made the Tailwind logo thanks to, sorry, we've made the Beats logo thanks to Tailwind. And 
If you wanted to take this a step further, I know the Beats logo's white area is a little bit thicker than the one we made. The reason we stopped at this thickness is because the border eight, that's kind of the thickest that Tailwind gives us. What you could do here is you could get a white circle and instead of applying the border, you could say background white, and then you could create a third circle inside of that and that would be the red circle on the inside. So that would be red circle, white circle, red circle, and that would be a way to get this to be as large as possible. And you know what, while we're here, whatever, let's do it, right? Background is white right here, height is 16, width is 16. That means now we need a small, uh-oh, here we go, small red circle. And let's go for div, and we're gonna say background is red at 600, height is eight, width is eight, and rounded at full. Now this needs to be flex and item center justify center so that we can center the red inside of that. So there's that, and that's looking pretty good. Is that too thick now? That might be too thick. So let's go for increasing the size of this, maybe 12. That might not be enough. 10 might be the ticket right here. Better, okay. So now we can go here and let's increase the width of this, maybe six. You gotta play around with this a little bit. No, that's not gonna do the trick. Maybe uh, four, we were on four. Oh no, we were on two. So four might work. Now we do negative translate X full. Let's see if we delete this, what happens. So I'm kind of just placing it around. There we go. So it isn't the right size. Let's go for three. Okay, so that's a little bit better, but our size is a little off. Maybe if we increase this to 12. Now this is where we start to get to that weird area where we have to play around with the numbers a little bit. So let's see if we can translate Y, or sorry, X1, and see if that changes anything. Nope, too much. Is there a 0 0.5? Let's go to Tailwind Docs, translate 0 0.5. Okay, let's try that here. Translate X 0 0.5. Not enough, really. So let's change out our width to 2 again. And not perfect either. So this is going to be a little bit of a session for playing around with these things. <laughs> I don't really want to bore you with this, but let's see. So I am absolutely failing at positioning this thing. Please do play around with this on your own. We made the Beats logo awesome to start. And then because I wanted to mess around and go too far, now we have a broken Beats logo. But <laughs> play around with it. Let me know what sizes are going to work for you in the comments. I'm sure that there's the magic numbers somewhere around here. But thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.